Hi there, in this uh, screencast I just want to show you how you can customize uh, some of the editor uh, features and some of the uh, add your own customizations on top of the, um, the actual text editor inside of JSBin. Now um, the HTML, CSS and JavaScript uh, panels, the, the code editor is actually just CodeMirror, um, the super project um, that's reused in uh, a lot of other um, great projects as well. Um, it's simply that drops straight into JSBin, has been for a long time. and um, uh, we, the way that JSBin works is it exposes uh, all of the editor options so that you can set them yourself and it remembers those settings to in, inside of the browser so it uses local storage. So um, to cut to the chase, basically if you go to codemirror.net, look at the programming API and go down to the um, configuration, any of these options here that you set in JSBin will be memorized uh, for the next time you come back to JSBin. So, um, let's say you don't like the uh, the line wrapping, well you can turn that off. So uh, line wrapping is turned on by default. So the way that you do this, you go to JSBin, you open up the console. So uh, I'm just going to do that with command. Um, so this works in, in, in all the browsers. Uh, so IE, Opera, Firefox, Chrome, Safari. And you just do jsbin.settings. So anything inside of settings is memorized. Anything that you set inside of settings will be remembered when you refresh the page. And then just editor. And anything inside of editor is then remembered and used as a property against uh, code mirrors. So here we're going to say, um, let's say line numbers. So we're going to do line numbers equals true. So line numbers aren't turned on. We're going to do line numbers equals true. And just going to hit refresh. And now we have line numbers. Okay. Um, and another one down here. What was it? Uh, match brackets. Let's use that one as well. Let's drop that in. Um, so match brackets equals true. So we just show you the JavaScript panel here. Um, so if I'm moving around, you can see nothing really special is happening here. Let me close this a bit more. Um, uh, match brackets will basically match the, uh, the brackets. So I hit enter. The setting is now set. I need to refresh for that to be um, loaded into Code Mirror. And if we go to um, our JavaScript panel, you can see that the match the brackets are now being kind of highlighted to show you which one you're on. Um, and those will just save basically. Um, so I can turn them off by just doing false, or I could just delete that setting, and I can delete the uh, what was it line numbers. There you go, refresh, and I go back to normal. Um, there is actually a shortcut for line numbers that I added in a little secret. If you double click on uh, the headings like JavaScript or HTML, that will give you line numbers. Um, but obviously, that's not very, very well exposed. But anything to do with Code Mirror and the options, you can actually set it via the command line. Um, and hitting refresh will then just load it in. Um, one other useful um, setting inside of here is settings debug. And what that's used for is um, if you set it to true and you hit render, it'll show you the rendered output. It'll show you how it's constructing the page for you. So it's quite useful if there's something that isn't being put together the way you expected or you just want to look at how the source is being put together just to be sure. Um, really useful for that. I use it to debug. Um, when people are raising errors or um, I just want to look at what the source code looks like and then you just set that to false um, and then just rerun the code and it will render it back together and of course because it's inside of settings if I hit refresh or I open up another JSBin window that setting is sticky basically so anything inside of JSBin.settings is, uh, is sticky so hopefully that's useful um, I will put out another screencast to show you how to um, uh, share a URL that actually applies all those settings. Uh, so if you have a workshop and you've got lots of attendees coming in at the same time, you can um, you can share a single URL and they'll all be set up with the same JS bin. Um, oh, one thing, last thing before I go, I guess, editor theme, is it theme, solarize, light, I think solarize light is in there. Yeah although text is missing there. Um, and if anyone wants to add more themes, we've only got a couple in there. I think JSBin, Default, and Solarized uh, Light. I don't think we have Dark. Um, if you want to add a theme, just send me a pull request, and I'm more than happy to add um, more themes into JSBin as long as you know they're, they're, they're sensibly colored. 
Cool. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that's useful to you.